My name is Alec. Welcome to Use of Science. Today we're going to have a look at the science behind bath bomb making and I'll also be able to show you how to make one of your own. Bath bombs are fun. They're fitty and also they make really good presents. So I thought this would be a really useful experiment to do with you. To make our bath bombs I'll be using some sodium bicarbonate some citric acid, which is food grade, because we don't want any chemicals ruining our bath bombs. Some sea blackthorn oil. We also have some olive oil. A bowl and spoons for, to mix everything up in. The yoghurt pots, or chocolate puddings in this case, which we're going to use to uses moulds, moulds, some essential oils, we also have a glove, um, some water, some cold water in my water gun just in case I need to add some to my mixture, and some decorative daisies and flowers. I also have a little bit of cotton wool to smear oil on my yoghurt pots to make sure that my bath bomb comes out more easily. My little brother Henry will be helping me as my assistant and I'll be able to show you our favourite recipe of bath bombs. We call them Sunny Summers. So I put my glove on and that's because citric acid is a weak acid but it can still sting your skin. I'm going to have three spoonfuls of sodium bicarbonate and one spoonful of citric acid. Yeah, citric acid. Good mixing. Now that the mixing is done, I add seven drops of mandarin oil three drops of neoli oil and one drop of lavender oil. I'll now mix everything all together again and then I'll make a small I'll make a mountain with a small mound in the centre. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of sea buck thorn oil and I'm also going to add an, another teaspoon of olive oil into the crater of my volca volcano. Now that it's done I'll mix it all together really well. Now I'm crushing everything with my fingers. It's nice and yellow, isn't it? It's supposed to stay together when I push it. It just isn't. So I'm going to ask my little brother Henry to add a squirt. Henry, can you please add a squirt? A bit stronger than that. Enough. perfect consistency now so I'm going to ask my brother Henry to add a few of our to add our flowers. Henry could you add a few some of our flowers? All of them. Yes, all of them. I'm now going to add my mixture into my mouth. You need to compress really hard and if you need more of the mixture then just double or treble your quantities. Now that everything's well compressed, I'll leave them to harden overnight while I tell you the science behind the experiment. A bath bomb is essentially a mixture that when water is added to it, it starts to fizz. If you just put a dry mixture in the bath, the one that you saw in the bowl, it will work just as well, but it will be a lot faster to fizz out, so it won't be quite as fun. What makes a bath bomb fizz? A bath bomb fizzes when it's added to water because of the carbon dioxide that, that is released in the chemical reaction between our two ingredients. It's the same gas they use for carbonating fizzy drinks and it makes your bath as fizzy as a fizzy drink for a short amount of time. 
All bath bombs have two main ingredients, citric acid, which is an acid, and sodium bicarbonate, which is an alkaline or base. They need water to react. When we add them to water, they produce three things. Some salt, some water, and carbon dioxide. We could use other acids, but citric acid is ideal. It's a weak acid, so it's safe to work with. It's also natural, because you find it in lemons, and also it comes in a powder form. The reason why it has to be powder is because if it was a liquid, if you made it in, used it in bath bombs, then the reaction would happen there and then, rather than when it goes in our bath. That's why when we make bath bombs, we use oils. They hold all the ingredients together and they're good for your skin and they make it a lot softer. So we only ever add water if we have to and if we do have to we only add a tiny bit because otherwise the reaction will happen there and then. The ratios are important here because we don't want to have a bath of citric acid. It's an acid, so it stings. We don't want a bath of sodium bicarbonate because it's a base. So, you need to add one part of citric acid and three parts of sodium bicarbonate to make a fully working bath bomb that you will enjoy. We've taken the bath bombs out of their moulds and they're set so, and we've also filled the bath with warm water so let's see whether it works. That's carbon dioxide erupting out of it. Look, bath yellow oils. No, I don't think I want to have a look. Of course you can have a look. Wow. slippery. If you have a different recipe that you really like, please tell me and we'll be able to share it. Now my little brother's going to enjoy the bath. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon. Hope Bye! Hope to see you soon! <laughs>